The North Shore Shopping Center in Peabody, Massachusetts was opened in 1958. The movie you're about to see is of an army exhibition um, mock battle that was staged there and it probably took place around 1959, maybe 1960. The video is made from an 8mm home movie film made with a Kodak Brownie movie camera. The title you're about to see, The Battle of the North Shore, was the name that I gave to my film of the battle. It's made on a title making kit that was available back in the late 50s to use with home movies. The letters have little prongs on the back that can stick onto a board. The sign says Strategic Army Corps Exhibition, 2nd Infantry Brigade, 14 to 17 September. Here's a scene of some flares. I don't know if they would drop from a plane or shot up from a gun from the ground. This Army demonstration battle took place in a large field in back of the mall. There were lots of vehicles, trucks, weapons, and demonstrations. I don't know how much explosives made this huge, dense cloud, or maybe possibly it was from a flamethrower. Here's a series of explosions, maybe to simulate a plane dropping bombs, or rockets being fired from beneath a plane's wing. There were lots of explosives in this demonstration. If you look closely, you can see Route 128 in the background. I wonder what the motorists thought. Here's a flamethrower. The Army didn't go halfway with this exhibition. Here's a mobile cannon mounted on a jeep. Here's the mobile cannon taking up a firing position. Here's the mobile cannon again on a mound of some sort of concrete, maybe. Possibly it might be a part of what previously existed before the shopping center was built. I heard talk of an estate and farm that existed there prior to the mall. Here are some vehicles off to the side of the battle. One trailer has some sort of equipment, maybe something for communications. Here are close-ups of three Jeeps and an ambulance. Here's a really good shot of two tanks maneuvering. I think they were what was called Sherman tanks. Here's a parade on the Route 114 side of the shopping center, the front of the shopping center. I don't remember what the big building to the right of the parade was. Maybe a viewer in their senior years now might have worked there and might remember what the building was. Or someone might have shopped there a lot and can leave a comment about what the building was.
Here's a shot of some cars in the parking lot. Maybe they might help someone to identify what year this exhibition took place. Maybe by the double headlights or the amount of chrome on the car to the right. Here are soldiers marching down a ramp that led to a corridor under the mall that was used for deliveries. Here are some soldiers demonstrating rappelling down the side of Filene's department store. At this time, the shopping center was not enclosed and was not yet called a mall. This obviously isn't part of the battle. It's a shot of my grandparents and my mother watching the demonstration and my mother looking very 1950s-ish. Here's another demo, possibly of lowering an injured soldier to the ground, once again from Filene's department store. Here's something that nowadays would be called a zip line. I wonder if the Army use of this uh, led to the popular tourist attraction zip lines. Here is a color guide marching to the flag lowering ceremony as long shadows cross the mall. 